This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Kelly Meyer. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Well, new this morning, WENY News has learned that the U.S. general killed in Afghanistan has ties to upstate New York. The U.S. military identified the officer killed during an insider attack as Major General Harold Green, who was born and raised in the Albany area. Green was the highest ranking American officer killed in combat since 1970. Officials say the general was killed Tuesday in one of the bloodiest attacks of the long Afghanistan war when a gunman dressed as an Afghan soldier turned on Allied troops, wounding about 15 U.S. and coalition forces. And a Steuben County pair is in jail this morning on charges of making meth. Brenton Austin and Sheila Radcliffe were arrested on warrants back on July 13th. And according to the Star Gazette, the couple waived extradition. The New York State Police took custody of them yesterday. Their arrest stemmed from an investigation into a fire at Radcliffe's then residence in Bradford on February 9th. This is according to state police in Bath. And police alleged that the pair were in the process of cooking meth in Radcliffe's residence and a fire started. Two small children were in the home at the time but were uninjured. And the adults faced multiple felony and misdemeanor charges. And they're scheduled to reappear in court this morning. Well, there have been plenty of events this summer celebrating the city of Elmira's anniversary, showing even after 150 years, Elmira still got it. And an event this weekend is set out to prove just that. Mothers Helping Mothers Elmira and the Elmira Women's Leadership Initiative are hosting Wake Up Elmira from 1 to 4 Saturday at Grove Park. Event organizers say it's a way to get people back into the community and show it's a great place to live. According to the Star Gazette, the family-friendly event will include free food, guest speakers, a DJ, information tables, a job fair, face painting, and raffles. And if you would like to get more involved, find these two organizations on Facebook or contact Jessica Belgrave at 398-8107. I want to know if your post office hours are changing. Well, a few meetings in the coming days may give you more insight. There's a meeting tonight about reducing hours at the Covington Post Office. According to the Star Gazette, hours could be cut in half from 8 to 4. The meeting is tonight at 5 o'clock in Covington Township in the Covington Township building. And meetings have also been scheduled for other post offices, including Reading Center, Jasper, Troopsburg, Millerton, and Savona. All right, now here's Craig Flint with your forecast. Craig. Hey Kelly, good morning. As we take a look at the forecast today, here's what we've got in store. Scattered shower or two today. Uh, nothing like yesterday when we had the severe weather that rolled through sections of the area. Going for a high of 77, so that's a little bit below normal on the temperature dial. And there should be at least some sunshine out today here and there. This was the view last night from Steuben County with those storms that uh, rolled through. Sections of Steuben County dropped some hail on the ground there. This is from Ruth in Cohocton. I'll just step out real quick and give you a gander. Uh, some of the hailstones that fell up towards, um, uh, what am I trying to say, Lansing in Tompkins County uh, near golf ball size. Not quite as big. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, you know, we won't have to deal with anything like this today, but still a couple scattered showers here and there. So that's the uh, headline uh, for the weather story. We'll have some sun and clouds today as well. And a little lower on the temperature dial, most of us stop today between 75 and 80, which is a, a couple degrees below where we should be. And then it's sunshine to the finish line. That, uh, and that's for Watkins Glen, by the way, the, the upcoming weekend uh, with the race. I figured why not? Have some fun with it. But it looks like a great stretch of weather here as we head into the end of the week. So satellite Doppler radar, we still have this area of showers through central PA and then moving up into New England. That batch right there was actually the severe weather yesterday. That is now uh, exiting and moving on out into the Atlantic. For us today, we have a little bit more of a westerly wind and that may uh, cause a little bit of enhancement off the Great Lakes. So Lake Erie and maybe a couple showers coming in off of Ontario, but nothing widespread today uh, as some drier air starts to filter south. So we take a look at future track and you're saying that's not scattered. That's pretty widespread. It's painting on a pretty good swath of rain here. It's, it's just overdone. And, you know, to be honest with you, this model has been suffering the past several days. So this is a little bit too overdone. There will be scattered showers out and about. That goes away though. Tonight, skies become partly cloudy. We'll start with some fog. And on Thursday, maybe a quick instability shower in the morning. Clouds and sunshine 
and it's looking good as we head into the end of the week. So your seven day forecast right there on your computer screen and again a little bit below normal temperature wise as we had Thursday Friday. I mean normally we're around 82 but we're back to near normal Saturday a little above normal Sunday above normal Monday and then a bit below normal on Tuesday. But look at the string of dry days, Kelly. Lots of sunshine here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So let's go to the races. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, a lot of a lot of sun, clear weather and it feels like summer again, which is good. So thanks, right. Craig, for that. Well, for the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Kelly Meyer. Have a great day.